Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at an amazing tool which is an instant town building toy known as Townscaper. Townscaper is a tool that is developed, published and even managed and built by one single individual known as Oscar Stalberg. This is not his first project as he has actually made a couple of other things which we are going to take a look at. Right now you can see that this is one of his cool projects and he also has a brick block project which we are also going to take a look at and you can see how the Townscaper actually came to be. Townscaper is available on Steam so if you want to get this you can definitely come on Steam and get it and for the most part these two costs very little right here in turkey it is costing about 11.50 turkish lira which is barely six dollars and i mean for a tool like this i think it is worth the price on the other hand this tool was just released about a few days back and it is actually gathering a lot of positive comments and it is gathering a lot of hype within the community and today we're going to take a look at certain things like what are the pros what are the cons what opportunities does this tool present and we're also going to talk about some of the things which you need to know before you start getting into it and uh, some of the updates that he has actually given with this said we're going to simply jump directly into townscaper and you can see what this lovely tool looks like it's very colorful i must say and for the most part it also has some very lovely algorithms that is making sure that things fall in place. The first time I saw this, the first thing that came to my mind was Houdini. Houdini actually came into my mind the first time I actually saw this. And when I started playing with it, I don't know if it's still Houdini, but there is some sort of magic, some voodoo thing going on here. And it is just lovely. All of the models that you get here are low poly and they are just super nice, appealing to look at and very 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 lovely how you work with this is very simple you can actually see that uh we have some very lovely sky and you know we have this cloud thing going the birds that exist here are kind of animated and you can see them and once you want to disrupt these birds you need to actually click and you can disrupt them and you can see they fly away how this works is extremely simple all you need to do is just simply click to create stuff right click to delete stuff click click to create multiple stuff click to create a building click again to create another building and you know create a towered building something like that click again to make another towered building and the, another one and you can see that what you use for your building creation kind of conforms to the mode of your object at the point and this would help you create stuff if you right click you can simply create something out of that by deleting that so to navigate it's very very simple how you can navigate is simple what you need to do is use your mouse or you can stick with the keyboard for the keyboard if you press w you can zoom in you know as backwards you can use a to move left and simply use d to move right you can also use uh, w to go down and E to look upwards for the mouse if you use the middle mouse button you can you know zoom in and out so let's zoom in all right so there is a very uh, smooth looking camera zoom that has some sort of curve to it like this all right so you can see that and you can use the right mouse button to pan at the same time I also noticed that you can use the middle mouse button to pan meanwhile the left mouse button is your creation button which you can use to create or if you click and drag you can use it to orbit around your scene and this is navigation in total very easy so let's create a brand new scene and let me explain certain things that happens under the hood so you guys can see how this works so right here if you click and go over to the section called new meanwhile you can also save stuff all right so if you go over to the section called new and you know close this we're going to get back to that section you can click to create you know your wall all right so you can click again click again click again click again to create these walls you can change the color of the buildings you want from here so let's simply make a couple of walls so that we can simply get into that so if i click i have this yellow building i can switch and make a red one i can switch maybe to blue and get something like this now there is a tiny trick about this thing that i found out once you make a blue building and tap again it gives you a dome on the top all right if i do that same thing it gives you something like that as well and something like that it gives you some sort of pinnacle stuff yeah that's what it is and if you select a different color 
you will get a building all right so once i click right now i'm getting a building i think yeah let me simply go back and use this to explain even further so if i click it gives me another building on top there so i think this is uh very reasonable for anyone who is trying to build certain stuff like this if you want the colors to remain the same and you want to build a pinnacle or some sort of cathedral looking stuff or mosque looking thingy yep you might want to stick with the same color but once you switch the color these things actually change another thing which is under the hood which i kind of found as well is once you're working with a tool like this you would also notice that there are some very nice looking magical stuff happening what do i mean if i go in and let's say we make all of this we make some buildings and let's just take this thing all the way up 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 to a point like that all right this looks like it's too much how do you connect that once you click it creates a ladder and you click again it creates another one and another one and another one and once you right click and also do the same thing right here there is some sort of connection that happens and you would see that this is carving now the reason why this is carving is because of the underlining grid that exists and to show you what that underlining grid does is clicking on the bugger menu here and turn on grid now once you turn on grid i would simply explain what goes on here these grids are responsible for what is happening you cannot build anything outside this grid which is just right here if you want to build anything or you want to extend the grid you need to build close to the edge of the grid to extend that grid the same thing happens to a point like that and the grid is responsible for the shape the tons and what you get right now you notice we have this very nice looking star which is uh, a pole at the point you can see all of these faces are merging towards this point and once we click we get a star looking wall that just simply emerges now everything that we have to build from here would definitely have that look so once you're trying to build stuff and you want them to move in a particular line, you need to be aware of the grid as this will be what would help you get that going. So this is what I found under the hood. And if you're wondering, okay, now that you have this, how do you get this going and how do you use this? Now, if you want to use this for animations, for games, you can either do one of these three things. All right. First of all, you can either wait for the developer to create some sort of export menu because right now you cannot export. You can only save to clipboard, which actually saves this file. That is the way it saves the file. Or you can go ahead and export this and use it as a reference maybe you know paint over do something with it so another way is you can also use this for some sort of camera motion what i mean by that is if you can find a way to you know create the kind of landscape or cityscape that you want so let's just simply do some things right here so if you find a way to make something good for yourself you can either use the you know the very button which you get to move things back and move things forward you know the basic navigation and see how you can uh add direct your personal camera motion this might actually take you a while but right now the developer doesn't seem to be doing anything about how you can you know animate this thing for now this tool is still within its early access so in case you're thinking about you know animating things and, and getting stuff done that might not be possible the original idea for the creator is this is more like a toying tool which you can use to create a quick cityscape maybe for concepting concepting or as a reference guide so on the other hand there are also a couple of other things that you need to also keep in mind let's go ahead and fire up steam then we'll talk about uh some things that he just published and we'll also discuss about the other tools that he had previously before now so directly here on steam uh there is a note which he actually released few you know few days ago he released this on the 15th and this is where he's talking about this tool being able you know to have some more stuff that might be coming to it he's also looking at ways that he can increase the terrain increase the map a lot of people are asking if people can actually be in here and yes of course he's looking forward to doing that but there are certain complexities that he's actually considering things like behavior animation you know navigation and how the characters behave he wants them to be good enough just like we have for the birds that we have right here which are 
kind of animated. And another thing which I, you know, noticed before I forget is once you displace these birds, they don't disappear from the scene. They actually find a way to travel around the scene like it happens in real life. And then they find somewhere that they would go and, you know, perch and start nesting around there, which is very nice. I like the whole idea of something like this. And it just simply makes the scene even way more alive than it is. Of course, the clouds are also helping it to become way more alive. But then let's continue with what he is actually proposing. So the developer is also proposing a bigger grid. He is looking forward to make terrains. Unfortunately, he's saying that right now, the way terrains might work might not be exactly how everyone is thinking. But he is looking at ways that, you know, he can implement some few stuff for persons if you're using linux then of course you can proceed to use proton or you can use wine from windows and run this particular app directly on linux there is actually no talk about exporting things yet so probably that might not be coming in anytime soon something else that he has done that is really nice is there are a set of controls that he has actually went and dropped right here so you can go ahead and check this one out as well and so this is the tool right here very amazing looking tool for the menu if you simply go over here you can either use new open quit you know save to clipboard which automatically just saves this or you can load from clipboard if you've saved something previously this is where you can go or full screen and bring it down if you just don't want full screen if you want to pin the ui you can choose to get that one in or get it out and for here you can change the language this tool works perfectly fine and before we talk about some other tools that he has created um some things for me stands out i love the whole idea of you know creating something like this for anyone who wants to do referencing you want to do uh, some pre-visualization this simply works but some things i wish you know he could add maybe if this isn't you know a click 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 to create maybe if it has uh, some sort of line so if you just draw the line or if you follow a particular pattern let's say you click here and you wait to a point it sort of automates that that would definitely come in very handy another thing for me is uh, if we can have an export option that would be very very useful and not just as a toy which you can use to play around I think that would also come in very very uh, handy I like the whole idea of you know you click on open and you get to see some of the things that you've done before and you can always go back to them and you know get some stuff working for you that makes sense for me and i also wish that we can have some of those nice boats and stuff that he's already proposing to bring in here so with all of this said this is a lovely tool and you know it just makes sense that if you want to use it, you can go over to the link in the description and get started with it. Now, with this out of the way, let's look at some of the things that he has done before. So, he does have some very tiny pet projects like this one. This is called Planet. Planet is a pet project that he worked on at the point. And I think all of these gave birth to what we have today. So, this right here is, you know, quite similar to what we have. So, if you simply right click, you can get rid of parts and on the other hand you can choose how much world you want so if you need a small world if you need a bigger ad something like that you can have this and this might also come in very handy and it might be very useful especially if you are thinking of using the world tool to to create some stuff that's done on high quality so you can see that so if you're thinking of using the word tool to create some stuff, maybe an intro to your animation, I think this might be very useful as you can just click, click, click. All you need to do is, you know, uh, bother about this watermark, which you could crop out. So you can just click. The same thing is what you have with the townscaper. So you can just click and you can go all the way on top here and add a building, something like that. Add a very small settlement. You can also add another settlement here add another one here and these things are very very interesting another cool thing that he is also working on or which he had worked on before is the brick block so the brick block is uh more like um a tool set that sort of assisted the birth of what we have today so if you right click the same thing happens so you can right click right click right click right click right click right click to get rid of stuff you know right click to get rid of that and if you click 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 you can get in more stuff click 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 uh, more stuff like this so this is how you get to work with this and it's very cool to see that oscar has been working on uh, some cooler tools but 
this seems to shine out a bit more brighter and it would make sense to see some more updates to this particular tool and you know even get it to be more useful for a whole lot of people so this is about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comments section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and links to all of these things are going to be in the description just in case you want to play with them and you want to use them firsthand and see how it goes tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace